Hello and welcome to the Generational Gamer. These have just arrived from Nintendo. Well, let's take a look. I can tell you one of these is an N64 controller and the other is a Sega Genesis controller, which I paid for out of pocket. I'm going with the smaller one being the Sega Genesis. I cannot begin to tell you how cool it is to see Sega and Nintendo's name together. As a child of the 16-bit era, whoo, that is something. Let's open it up. And there it is. Look at that. You know what that is? That is a Sega Genesis controller for the Switch. And it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Look at it. The buttons, they all feel good. A, B, C, start. And look, up there, there's the screen capture and a home and a mode. Feels awesome. Let's put it down and take a look at our original. Let's check out an OG. Let's see, A, B, C, D, start. That's it. All right, let's compare it to the new one. D-pad does feel a little bit softer. A, B, C, I think they feel a little bit harder. Start button feels fine, but overall feels pretty good. Underneath you will find a Nintendo branded USB-C cable. All right, so let's choose Golden Axe because I know what all three of these buttons do very well. Ah, see, look, it recognizes it. Look, even in the upper left corner, it shows you the Sega Genesis controller. So mode is suspend. All right, I'll go to options, give myself five, and you can see what the controls do, A, B, and C, which is how I always played it when I was young. And we'll play uh, Tyra Flair. I think that's her name. I forgot what her name is. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, you know what? You're not going to believe this. Get off of me. It plays exactly like I remember. Magic is A. And I just got beaten up by the first two by the first two enemies. Ah! So, I always played number 2 more. They definitely made the screams better in the first one than the second. Second one had terrible screams. It's bleh, bleh. I'm having no trouble controlling it. I just suck at this game. So I haven't played it in years. All right, let's try another game. We're gonna hit start. One button does the formation. One changes your speed. Honestly, this game right here is the game to play. C shoots, so A changes your formation. Okay, so B uses your special weapon that you've got. And it definitely makes it a hell of a lot easier to control. Okay, you press and hold and you can rewind. Oh, that's neat. If you've never played Musha, give it a try. I think you'll like it. Even if you're not a shoot 'em up fan, this game's worth giving it a try. See, that's my weapon that I have right now. Let me get more chips to build up my ship here. Yeah, it's a badass game. I am so sorry. When I was a kid, I kind of just ignored shoot 'em ups. Because back then, I'd actually be able to learn how to play them. But I can tell you this, I have been playing this on my Mega Drive Mini. I have a video that where I made that and I decided I am going to, rather than try to track down a legit copy of this game, I am going to just buy the Mega Drive Mini because it's included. I still contend that all Sega is doing at this point is just releasing games that are on the Mega Drive Mini and calling it a day. Hopefully that will change. But yeah, this game is awesome. It's Sega! All right, let's see what kind of input options we can do, because I remember this game was pretty limited. Button layout. So yeah, that's pretty shitty. Let's just give a game a try here. 
Golden Axe 2, the game I was actually familiar with back in the day. I played Golden Axe in the arcade and I sucked at it, but you know, you keep feeding it quarters, it'll let you play. All right, so A, B, and C, same controls as before. We'll use uh, her again. Love the music. Oh, uh, nope. So there is no C at this point. Uh, mode does rewind. And the least helpful thing it could possibly do. Update controllers. Alright, let's see. Can it just let you? All controllers are up to date. I am a little disappointed, though, that it doesn't actually show a Sega Genesis controller. But for the purpose of using it in Sega Genesis Online, I guess Nintendo Switch Online Sega Genesis, it works fine. It does what it's supposed to do. I do have several of these, though, so meh. And the D-pad is actually a little tighter on this bad boy. So it comes down to, do you want to spend $50 for a controller you really don't need? Or do you not want to? I did for you. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a good one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.